This is an expanded video on using the DSC Tuner software to zero the ride height sensors. It is expanded because after we zero the sensors, we're going to verify the actual ride height values. For the purpose of this demonstration, we're doing this with the controller out of the car. Under normal circumstances, in order to zero the ride height sensors, the controller must be connected to the car and the car's ignition must be on in order to power up the ride height sensor so it has data. Again, this is out of the car only for the purpose of this demonstration on how to use the software. We're going to do this demo using the software right now, but again, the controller must be connected to the car and the ignition of the car must be turned on in order to zero the ride height sensors. So uh, first thing we're going to do is uh, tools, reset board to make sure we have communication. And it is very simple to zero the ride height sensors. So you, if you have your car uh, just have the ride height lowered or you just want to do it or you know for cars that have axle lift you need to zero it then uh, just go to settings and go right to the zero travel button we have other videos that we made for this so you want to make sure the car is at the desire or uh, at the static ride height and you don't want a car to be parked on a hill you want it to be parked on a level surface so this way you get uh, some good numbers. All right, so getting to it is just a matter of pushing this zero travel button. So whatever the ride height is now, hopefully the car is uh, sitting on a level surface. When you hit this button, then it's gonna become the new zero. Please keep in mind that these four numbers here are not the actual ride height values. These are hex codes. It's just going to be some random numbers. In this particular case, they all start at 35. But in a real life situation where the controller is plugged into the car, where you actually have shocks and sensors connected, these will just be random numbers. Again, these are not the ride height values, the actual values. So they do not need to match. So the next uh, thing I'm gonna show you is how to actually see the ride height values. So we'll close this. Um, after we zero travel it, now we wanna do a reset board. Okay, so let's look at the actual ride height values. We can go to tools, record data log. We wanna select text. And down here, we have a number of different icons. We're going to select a circle for record. Now, these are the actual ride height numbers. Left front, right front, left rear, right rear. They are all at zeros because whatever the ride height is, we just zeroed it. So this is the proper way to check it not using the uh, four values that was displayed on the main screen right after you hit the zero travel button. Again, those are hex codes. Now these here are the actual ride height values. So to exit out of this, we'll hit the square for stop. Close. And we can close this out. 